Today they're with AcroSpray Drones. I'm gonna show you guys a unique feature on the EVision J150. It's called Reverse Operation Speed. Now I've got it turned on right now. As you can see on my screen, we've got Operation Speed, which is like we normally have, your flight speed, your spraying speed. Then below that we have Reverse Operation Speed. Now they're the same right now. I'll show you, you can turn this feature on and off. We go up here to our settings on the top right, go to our spray settings, and then uh, come down here, it says reverse operation speed. That's turned on, that's why you see it in the parameters over here on the left-hand side. Turn that off, you just have one speed for forward and reverse. So what this does is it puts a little line on the screen here. You can see a little green line on the screen, that's your forward line. So whatever, wherever you start spraying, that is your forward pass. And then in the opposite direction, coming back towards you or coming back the opposite way of that green line, that's your reverse pass. And the drone's gonna spray forward at all times. It's gonna turn around and always spray forward. But on the reverse operation, you can change that speed. Why would you wanna do that? Well, just in case uh, you are spraying into the wind one way, against the wind another way, that might change your pattern or change your swath because the wind's pushing your swath back. You don't have as you know, much uh, you know, downforce, your, your relative wind speed is different this way versus that way. If you slow the drone down, uh, going with the wind, or sorry, against the wind, that might, that will actually help uh, keep your swath more accurate um, and have, have less uh, variance between forward and reverse speed. So I'll show you guys that now. We'll do 45 feet per second forward, 25 feet per second in reverse. And so you see this line here is where it started. So go back to this line, that should be a forward line right there. Let it confirm, hit takeoff. All right, there we can watch our speed. We're cranking up right now. There we're at 45 feet per second. Acceleration on the J150 is phenomenal. It'll terrain follow at this speed too. I'm talking like steep hill terrain follow as well. That's something that's always impressed us. All right, uh, we'll let it spray down to the end. We'll take off our follow. From there, it's coming towards the end now. Slowing down, turning around. Turns are super fast on this drone too. Okay, now watch the speed in the bottom of the remote. It's not 45, it is, there we're at 26 feet per second now. We set it at 25. So now it's coming back slower than it went out there. You can change this while it's in operation actually. Come up here and we've got reverse speed there. It's been cranked that reverse speed all the way up. Hit confirm. And there, now it's cranking back up to 45. All of this is editable before and during the operation and when it's on the ground as well. All right, there you go. Remember this feature, especially if you can only spray one way um, and you're at the end of the wind one direction against another direction. That might actually help reduce burning of the crop and help increase consistency of coverage. Let us know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.